Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video I want to show you how to embed your opt-ins and your pop-ups on your website. Now, in order to get the embed code, all I'm going to do is go to the dashboard, find the opt-in that I want to embed, and click on the code button. Now, this is going to ask me for a couple of options, and we'll go through each one step by step. The first option is the standard form embed code. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me code that's just going to embed the opt-in itself as you see it in the editor inside of my page. So I'm going to click on that and I will get my code. I'll just cut it out of here. And now you can embed this code anywhere you want, anywhere that you can paste in the code snippet. So if you have an HTML website, you can use that. If you're using our Squeezematic system, you can put it in there. If you have a WordPress blog, you can post it inside of a blog post. So I'm going to go over to my personal blog and have a test page that I've created. And I'm going to put my opt-in form right in here. So to get started, I'm going to make sure that I'm using the text editor and not the visual editor. With the text editor, I can paste custom code in. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my code in there now. Click on Update. And then I'm going to view the post. So as you can see, it put my opt-in form directly inside of my WordPress post which is what that code is designed to do. And again, I don't have to use this with WordPress. If I have a regular HTML website, I can post the code snippet in there and it will also work. Now let me show you how to do a two-step opt-in. The way a two-step opt-in works is the user first clicks on a button and then a pop-up opens inside of a light box that shows the opt-in form. A lot of people feel that these particular types of opt-ins convert better and we wanted to have it as an option for everybody. So in order to do a two-step opt-in, I'm going to click on the code button. I'm going to click in two-step opt-in embed code. Now it's going to ask me what I want to do for my button. Do I want to use one of the stock buttons that we provide for you or do I want to upload my own custom button? So I'm just going to select a stock button just for making it easy. I will choose this one right here and it's going to give me a fairly large code snippet so I'm going to go ahead and copy that code snippet go back over to my test blog paste the code snippet inside of my blog and click on update now once again let's go over and view the post so now here is my post and you can see there's nothing else in the post besides the button and the code snippet that I'm pasting in but I could have just easily posted this anywhere that had content that was getting indexed and getting traffic I'm just using this for an example and there you go you can see my button I'm gonna click on the get started now button and it's gonna open up my two-step opt-in the final thing I want to talk about is the optional code that you can put in as well so when I click on the code button, you can see there are actually two optional codes as well. The first optional code that you can enter is the auto open code. The auto open code is for the two-step opt-ins in order to get it to open automatically. So that way, if the user is on the page, say, for 30 seconds, and they haven't clicked your opt-in button, you can go ahead and have the auto open code automatically trigger it as if they had clicked it and open up the light box pop-up. And now to do that, you just select the delay interval that you want it to automatically open at. I really recommend something like 30 or 45 seconds. That's a pretty good interval. That way it's not assaulting the people as soon as they get there. They get to read some of the content, and uh, it can then open up while they're reading the content after they've already gotten interested in your blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 30 seconds, and then it's going to give me a code snippet. In order to use the two-step opt-in with the auto open, what I do is add this code snippet as well to the code that I'm pasting. So I'll just go ahead and copy this. I'll go back to edit my blog post and I won't delete the embed code. I will just add it as well. And now my opt-in will automatically open up after 30 seconds. Other optional code is the on exit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to give me some on exit code and what this will do is automatically open up my two-step opt-in when people are trying to leave the page now what this does is it actually detects when the user is moving their mouse up towards 
the navigation bar. And once they are, and it detects that they're getting close to the top of the navigation bar, it will automatically trigger your two-step opt-in to go off as if they had clicked in the button. This is a great thing to add because if people are going to leave your page, they, you know, it will trigger it and you have an opportunity to capture the lead before they leave. Also, since this detects them moving the mouse up, them clicking on any of your links or purchase buttons or any of the other things inside of your browser will not trigger that two-step opt-in. That's a quick look at some of the embedding options. If you have any questions, please feel free to click the Help button on the right-hand side of your member's dashboard. Select Contact. We are always glad to be of assistance whenever we can. Thank you and enjoy.